Owning a small business can be challenging, but there are ways to win using social media. Joining us now to share social media building tips is Candy Robertson, CEO of Candyland Inc. So give us an idea, like the demand to do things right, it's got to be just through the roof. So many businesses looking for any advice, tips on how to really launch their business on social. How is that demand? Um, so a lot of business owners, they have, they make the same mistake, is they use it as a marketing or advertising platform. And they don't realize social media is what it is. It's a place where people are there to watch people's lives, watch the news, watch drama, watch mm. trending things. And so how do you leverage that as a business owner? How do you leverage social media? and grow followers, go viral. Mm -hmm. And that is by sharing their story, mm -hmm. by being relatable to your audience, build a connection. So a lot of business owners, they post products, services, advertise, and they don't, there's no connection there. Yeah, there's no real, I can see myself there, I can see myself right. in you kind of a thing. And that's really how you yes. yourself got started. Talk yes. a little bit more about your story. Okay, so I have a theme in my life. Uh, a lot of people ask me where I'm from. So a lot of times that's like multiple questions. Like, where are you from? Like, was I, where was I born and raised? Or where my parents are from? And so being Asian seems to be like a thing people always ask me. Every time people see me, like, where are you from? So I'm like, I think you're trying to ask me what my parent, where my parents are What's from. What's your heritage? Yeah, yeah where's my, my, my background? My, yeah. Exactly. So I've learned over time that's a lot, that's something a lot a lot of people do not talk about or see on TV, uh -huh. Asian people, mm -hmm. and other than the stereotypes and stuff like that. So what I did was I share Asian awareness through stereotypes. So I would make fun of stereotypes, and at the same time, I educate people the differences of Asian ethnicities and Asian cultures, and that also brings in controversy, so it allows people to build a community within my comment section, mm. and they, you know, they talk to each other, they have conversations, and... And that has garnered you, oh my goodness, what, over 400,000 followers on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? Yes. And over, somewhere between a million and 10 million views? Yeah, so I reach uh, up to 10 million on a monthly. Every, every day I reach millions of people. By letting them in and seeing wow. a slice of your life. Yes. Yes. How important is authenticity? Because it's very, so, you know, because very. every so often I see someone like reading a script robotically, and it just it doesn't it doesn't work. No, because it doesn't build a connection with people. People want to know who's the person behind the camera, who's who's the person behind the brand or the business. They want to know who you are, and people want to connect with. They like your personality. They like how you talk. They like what you look like, and people follow that. And so people like. Uh, will buy from people who they like. We all do it, right? So do that, does that mean you have to spill your guts and share every bit about your life, your kids, your husband, your wife, all of that? Um, it depends on comfort comfortability. So comfort like I, mm -hmm. I do talk about my husband. He's not always on my social media because mm -hmm. he's not social media. I don't really portray my kids that often. Um, so I do pick to choose and the intimate details I don't share. I do share details of my life, like mm -hmm. where I came from, how I got here. Mm -hmm. But as far as like certain details, I don't. But a lot of people, it's really up to you, like how much you want to share. Like that transparency, mm -hmm. really up to you. If there's one thing that you say to businesses, you have to do X better, what would that be from your experience? Making videos. <laughs> Make videos. Videos are like the thing. Every platform is pushing videos. They're pushing that into the algorithm. And not making videos to advertise, but to share, to offer value. Give people a reason to follow you. Like, why are we following you? Not mm. just to buy your product, but there should be a reason why people are following you and look forward to your next video. All right, Candy, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And her website, icandyland.com.